So you got you gained the courage to write this book. How did you feel like when you got done writing the book? Like when it was done? I cried. Oof. I didn't cry of sadness. Yeah. I cried. Yeah. You're rocking with Sir Quentin Best. Check it out now. Of the best entertainment. Shh. Shut up and hustle. Best of the best entertainment presents your feature presentation. What up, Milwaukee? Yo, what's going down? It's your boy, Sir Quinn, from Best of the Best Entertainment, where we keep our eyes and our ears open for local, global, up and coming and established artists. Today, we got my prayer warrior, <laughs> panel podcast member, new friend, supporter, all the above, Jessica Holmes. Thanks for coming to the show. I'm going to have you formally introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Jessica Holmes. Um, yeah, tell us what you got going on. I up. am a mother um, of seven. Um, I'm here to talk to you guys about my uh, my book called A Shepherd in a Storm. And it's also available on Amazon and by pre-order. Yeah, man. Welcome to the show. Thank you feel you me? Thank so this this new, first of all, happy birthday, man. Like, man, sh- man if you weren't born, I wouldn't know you. What? <laughs> right. That's crazy. I'm a tourist. Yeah. A tourist. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. And she don't take no bullshit. <laughs> no. No bullshit. So let's, let, you were here to talk about this book. This book is crazy. Um, Shepherd in the Storm. So, um, what inspired you to write this book? Because you kind of gave me your, background. yeah, because you gave me your, 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 you know, your background, uh, you know, with our the panel podcast. Y'all look out for that. But like, I want you to tell best of the best TV about what inspired you to write you. Um, this happened about two and a half years ago. I have survived domestic violence. Um, I was beaten by my ex husband, and this book came along through that. Um. I got the confirmation to write the book when I went to a business meeting in Virginia, came back and just said, fuck it, I'm going to do it. Mm. So this book talks about my life naturally, the natural walk, and also how I dealt with it spiritually. Mm -hmm. And it tells a little background about over the past Mm -hmm. of um, me taking a journey of how I have to stand and have courage, not for myself, but for others around me. It's a bunch of uh, Bible scriptures in there that will go with every chapter to explain to you what um, chapters that I had to go to in the book to help me. And it talks about how I stood the storm, you know, mm. because even now to this day, I'm I'm standing in the storm no matter what may face. Yes, Lord. I may face. Mm-hmm. So when people told me I couldn't do it, I told myself I could. Jeez. That's why I'm here. Jeez. So, yeah. Yeah. So that that was the inspiration. The haters, man. The hateration is the inspiration, yeah. man. Don't like, tell me I can't do something. Man, what? Don't tell me I can't do something. What? When you tell me I can't, that's gonna make me grind. That's what? Gonna make me go harder. So why the title? Like where the the, the shepherd and the like like how did you arrive to that name? Because I felt alone. <sighs> I felt like I was <clears> in a little <throat> small box that was <clears throat> I felt like that was a shelter for me. Yeah. Where nobody really heard me cry out. Mm. Um, I felt exed out. I felt sad. I felt hurt. I felt alone. I felt like everything that was around me was pouring down. It was tearing apart. So that's how this came along. Um, and also I got to give a shout out to Contia Lewis. She was actually the one to confirm my title of my book. Yeah. And she also was the one that helped me with the theme of my book. So shout out to her. Right. I met her at the business because a shepherd, a shepherd in a storm is crazy. Because like a, a shepherd, that's that's like pretty much who leads the sheep, right? Who leads the sheep? So uh, the a leader going through the shit, going yes. through the storm is yeah. tough. Like wow, wow, you were like it, it's in you, not on you, and right. on you. You know what I'm saying? Like it's no secret there. Right. So like, what what kind of audience? What kind of you know inspiration can the audience gain by reading this book? Um, to stand in and face their fears, Oof. to stand and face their fears, Jeez. to let them know that nobody has the right to take your voice. Nobody has the right to tell you, you can and cannot do nothing. Mm. It gives you the courage. And in, in, in this book, you will see that I personally use my name because mm. it's personal. Mm. So in this book, it will teach you how to go through each steps in life. It wow. will give you, um, it will give it to you understanding to you naturally 
mm-hmm. or how I dealt with it. And then it will give you spiritual understanding also. Like I said, it got many, many verses up in there. Um, in this book, you will find letters to my readers, uh, a dear letter to the readers. <laughs> You'll find a thank you letter to the readers. You'll find out some background about me, which is the bio. Mm. Um, I don't think I did a dedication to this one, mm. um, but I guess I can give a shout out to this part two that's coming out. Oh, Lord. That I just completed over the weekend. So you just said something that I didn't mean to cut you off, but you just said something that stuck with me. And um, so you said no one could take your voice. Um, Why do you think it's people that's out there that wants to take a shepherd, if you will, take take your voice or or in your in your instance? Like, why do you think? Yeah, it's because people didn't believe I had something to say. I allow people to make me feel that I didn't have nothing to say. I allow people. Um, it's crazy. And what gave mm. me, what gave me more courage was something you said at the uh, wine tasting that we went to mm. when you said, everybody got something to tell. Yeah. But the question is who would be brave enough? Yeah. So when you said that and you was explaining to us about how you can get started with a podcast, and I don't think the panel shared this with you yet. Yeah. So when you were speaking, you gave me an outlet. What? And my outlet yeah, was man. she has a she has a she, she got has a something voice. to yeah, say. She got a lot to say. So that's what um that what came to me. When it came to me, I'm like, okay, God, I don't know nothing about podcasting. Ooh, I don't know about none of that. Wee. So I mentioned it to Tone and Kenda at when we interviewed Tone now, Tone at on Kenda Podcast. Yeah. I do have something to say. A lot. I have a lot to say. I have a lot of encouragement. And see, I wish back then mm-hmm. I would have had all of that when I was going through. Right. I'm still going through. No. But now I have people. Mm-hmm. I I used to have a very small server, but now I got people that I can go to and don't have to be judged. Y'all accepted me for who I am and whom I am. Mm-hmm. I don't have to put on no no particular face. I don't have to change who I am. Either you going to like it or you not going to like it. That's just where I'm at. So this book will give anybody and everybody the courage to go through and let them know, like, don't be silent. You know, when you be silent, they got the power over you. Wow. When somebody tell you, oh, that what you want to do is not a good idea. Tell them, well, it might not be a good idea to, to you, you. But to me, it's everything. Yes. And I had to learn that. Yeah. And I had to learn that. Why is I'm listening to everybody else when God to giving me something? Yeah. Or something was put on my mind and heart. So now my thing is, you earn up, I boss up. Yeah. Ooh, we, man. In case so, y'all just now tapping in, we kicking it with Jessica. Jessica Holmes, man. Hey. Y'all stay tapped in. We got more questions for her right after this commercial break. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now available on Roku TV. Again, we are pleased to announce that we are on the A&R app on Roku TV. Make sure y'all go support. It's spelled T-H-E, capital A, lowercase A-N-D, uppercase R. No spaces. Please go check that out. Again, it's capital T, lowercase H-E, uppercase A, lowercase A-N-D, uppercase R. No spaces. The A-N-R. All one word. Thank you for your support. Go check that out. Yeah. Of the best entertainment. Shh. Shut up and hustle. Yo, in case y'all still tapped in, man, we kicking it with Jessica Holmes with our new book, A Shepherd in the Storm. Like, yeah. wow, the name is just like, it's hitting me, man. And, it, and like on so many levels, because, I'm man, I'm a shepherd, man, and I've been through the storm, so I could attest, I definitely need a copy of this book. So you got, you gained the courage to write this book. How did you feel like when you got done writing the book, like when it was done? I cried. Oof. I didn't cry of sadness. Yeah. I cried because I did it. I did it. I did yeah, it. Yeah, it was I did it. What? Even when nobody knew I was doing it. So um when I did it, Quentin, when I say that I cried for like an hour. An hour? But I was happy. Yeah. But I didn't know what the next step um was. Um I ended up reaching out to some friends of mine. Mm. And and what happened was I reached out to some friends of mine. They never got back. I just happened to pop on Facebook and a very good friend of mine had posted a flyer about her sister. 
is an editor. And she proofread, <laughs> she format. It took me two days to call. It took her two it took me two days. So you wrote you had the book all done. All done. And you took it took you two days to yeah. to build up the confidence. Not not the confidence. Right. That's probably the wrong word, but No, it took that's you the right word. To build up the confidence to, to call her. But you to, did it to though. To do the editing. Yeah. But check this out. Not only is it written by me, mm. that is done by me. Hold on, the, the artwork? The cover page, yes. Like, oh, hold but on, if I man. tell you who that is, you won't believe it. I don't, I don't want to know. I do not. Don't tell nobody. Nah. <laughs> we ain't gonna tell nobody. Nobody. Because hey, I, I, I really, we talk about that behind yeah. the scenes. Because like, <laughs> I, I, I saw it and I was like, I'm gonna go look at the flyer because I was getting my questions together and I was like, who the hell is who that? The hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> but we'll talk about that behind the scenes. So like, this book is dumb. Okay, so you, you hit her up. She did all the editing for she, you. She did. Um, she talked to me. She encouraged me. Mm. And she said, what is you afraid of? Mm. That's a, that's, see, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a vague question like that you hear a right. lot, but it's a powerful question. Like, what are you afraid of? What are you afraid of? And I told her, I said, I guess the world. She said, the world didn't write it. She said, the world didn't Who write it. Who is this lady? So shout out to Miss Lisa. Jeez. She is the editor, yeah. Lisa Island. So if you want to find her on Facebook, she's incredible. She's so that's a shout out. She's and once it was done with the editing, mm. I didn't have the courage to publish. You know how I got the courage? What's that? And it's gonna blow your mind. Oh man! And you know I'm personal. What is it? What, what, what's the courage? I what's gotta the... give a shout out to Judge Rogers. Ah, uh, shout out Judge. What? Shout out Judge. Uh, shout out um, Judge, man. Because ah. we had linked up. We had linked up, and he was going through some stuff, and I was telling him about my stuff. He, I went to encourage him. Stop. I met up to encourage him, and I was telling him about the book, and he said, "How you can sit here." And tell me all of this. <laughs> that sound like Judge too. But you can't do what you saying to me. So shout out to Judge. Shout out Judge, man. And that's what up, when boy? I posted it. I went home. Ah. When I left him, I went home. I was on my grind to find a place. And it didn't work out. Yeah. The first place didn't work out. Mm. I had to change the date. Okay. So I said, okay, God, you didn't get me this far. No, straight up. So what happened was I had to keep going to different places. Then I changed the, the date to the 15th of June because it was originally was the 1st of June, which was the book signing and launch. Didn't work. Mm. Then they told me, the library told me because I was selling MPS. Yeah, like, I remember I you mean, telling me that yeah. too. Yeah, They told me I couldn't have it there. Yeah. I put in the podcast um, messenger. Ooh, shit. Y'all don't tell, tell, the, tell best of the best who, who the podcast messenger is. Like, yeah, oh, yeah, the yeah. They can't move over that. Is Kenda yeah, and yeah. also a tone. Mm. Kenda and Tone is over the panel, which Sir Queen and I is a part of. So shout out to the panel team. Yeah. Love you guys. Yes, Lord. And I and I put it in the chat. Mm. And I gotta give Kenda her shout out. Yeah. Kenda told me re reach out to I think her name Brianna. Yeah. And Brianna told me what to do. Yeah. It took her four days to respond, but she responded. Yeah. Everything worked out the way it was supposed wow. to. So where Brianna had hers at. I hurry up and call the lady. Mm. I called the lady at one o'clock. She <sighs> called me back 30 some minutes later and she talked me through it. She said, I'm not going to hang up the phone. And I told her exactly what I was doing. I told her I wanted to, I was selling my book. Mm -hmm. I was going to talk about my book. I'm going to have food. I want to do raffle prizes. I want to do giveaways. Mm. So it's not just you come to meet the author and also take pictures. So mm. come with your best gear on. Yeah. Cause yeah. I'm definitely gonna have to take pictures that, with that's everybody. The, that's the one I'm not gonna miss, right? You're not gonna. Oh, miss. Okay, copy that. Yeah, yeah. I need to talk to you about yes, that. Yes, Lord. Yeah, we on that. <laughs> I need to talk to you about. All right, let's do it. Yeah. But um, <clears throat> she talked me through it. She and when she said, and we got off the phone at exactly one fifty nine. Mm. She said before the end of business day, you are gonna get the approval to have it at this location. Stop. At, the Wallet yeah. at exactly two o'clock p.m. That email came through. 230 that flyer was so, posted. So MPL didn't do it, but no, while Watosa Watosa did. Library. Come on now. Oh, 76 like, North is, Avenue. So like we we seeing the steps, like the, like this is like it's like building confidence, it's building like all this. So like how does it how did this book help you through your spiritual journey? It made me tap into my faith even more. 
not only tap into my faith, but it grew my faith. Mm. And uh, as a minister, I just have to say, as a minister, we go through different levels in our ministry. And God had to remind me of who he was in my life. Stop and this book is a prime example of who he was and mm. who he is in my life. And he also told me to stop letting people kill my silence. Mm. Because my silence only means that I'm not important. Or they above me and I'm beneath them. Mm. And then I'm like, okay, God, I don't know what you trying to do. I never heard do. I never heard it put like that, Jessica. But yeah. I've never heard it put like that. Like somebody who wants you to shut up, they 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 feel like wow. They feel like they have the power. Yeah. And they, and I used to allow them to have the power. Yeah. And what really woke me up, honestly, is my past. Mm. So I had to let that past go. Oof. Because if I didn't let that past you go. You barking today, girl. <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to be where I'm at today. Mm -hmm. Um, My dreams are starting to come come true. I wanted to be a part of the podcast team. I told Kendall about that after the first meeting. Mm. Um. I wanted to write this book. I wanted to give a voice to people. I'm also on the other nonprofit, Women's United and Sisterhood. Mm. And that is centered around Battle Families. I have an event next weekend. But I am excited that God is using me. Wow. Um, And when he started using me, he said, because I need you to let other people know that it's okay about what you went through. Right. Because I, I wanted to smooth over into that, um, the, the, the backstory of um this book like your trauma like you know like oh, i want you to yeah oh, you want a little bit of that oh yeah because yeah. I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm not ashamed of it not, not, that's not funny but like yeah <laughs> you get, yeah 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 slow it's all love yes love it's, when you know the love is there it's cool okay bet so the, a little bit background about um me like really me i have been a survivor of no correction honey i'm no longer a survivor i am a thriver yes look Ooh. Um, I am the proud owner of Women's United and Sisterhood, catching sister by catching sister by hand, hand in hand. I am the founder of that, and how that came about was my past trauma. My past trauma is where I have been molested, I have been raped, I have been beaten on, and just abused all the way around, physically, mentally, and emotionally. But what started was because the last time I went to court with my ex-husband for the domestic violence, I went in the bathroom and I was standing in the mirror. And I remember talking to God, just like I'm talking to you and saying, God, what is it? You have gave me the strength to make it to the final court date. What is it that you want me to do? How can I help people with the pain that I have suffered? And so that they don't have to go through it alone. And that's how I got the nonprofit. Mm. I was, I been had the nonprofit, but I didn't activate it because I was so scared of everybody else and what everybody else going to say. So when God told me in the mirror and there wasn't nobody in there, but me and him, and I'm looking in the mirror and I'm like, okay, God, if that's what you want, I'm going to be obedient. I mm. said, for now on out, I'm going to be a voice for somebody. The fact that you looking in the mirror and you looking at a God yourself, keep continue what you were saying, but you was looking at yourself like you are the God and you, yeah, that's crazy. I had to let the you God looking show in the mirror. up. Yeah, yes, yes. And when I let the God show up, hmm. he didn't only show up, but he showed up. So <laughs> when I say I've been rocking open for two years, come mm -hmm. July 9th, make two years that I've been walking in what he told me to do. Mm. I have met incredible people. Mm -hmm. I have put on friendship dinner. I have put on um, Survivor, which is the one that's coming next at our Survive Conference. Mm -hmm. And that is my platform. That was the first event I ever put on. And that's me talking about what I went through. Mm -hmm. And it's also giving other people to share their story. Savannah Burks is the one that's one of the mm -hmm. speakers of next week. Also, my friend oh, Madeline is uh, she's the uh, speaker for next week. And then I'm going to be the last speaker. Mm, so yeah. Mm, um, mm, 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 mm. If you really want to know who I am, be yeah. in the building. Yeah, facts. Be in the building. Yeah, yeah. We can't so, get too right. much. We can't get too much. In case y'all just now tapping in, we're kicking it with Jessica Holmes with our introducing her new book, A Shepherd in a Storm. 
I gotta read the book. Definitely gotta read the book. Y'all stay tapped in. We got the word segment right after this commercial break. Y'all stay tapped in. Yeah. If you or someone you know are looking for weekly or consistent hair care, I provide hair services for all hair types, lengths, and styles. Book your next appointment with me, Fine Wine Crystal. You can reach me on Instagram at Fine Wine underscore Ice or on Facebook at Fine Wine Crystal. Thank you. I look forward to working with you soon. All clients must be willing to receive hair service within a shop setting. There will be no chemical services provided at this time. Style lengths and prices vary per client, and we're now offering services for clients with tender scalp needs and special needs accommodations. Yeah, in case y'all just now tapping in, we kicking it with Jessica Home. We got our word segment, uh, Shepherd in the Storm, man. We talking behind the scenes. Like, she like, man, like, where I came, like, where where I'm at right now, I can never go back. Like, no. what? Okay. I can't. I came too far. What? Turn around. What? God didn't bring me this far to shut up now. No, it's sad. Uh, it's so yeah. sad. Well, we got our word segment, okay. where we spin the wheel three times, and you tell me what you think about the word. Every time it land on that okay. word, if that makes sense. All right, let's get the first spin. Right. Oh, I like that word segment. Yeah, the oh, word God. segment with Jessica Holmes. What did it land on? Fashion. Oh, fashion. Yes, Lord. What do it mean to me? Yeah, because you got that shit on right now. <laughs> yeah. Fashion is everything. I don't all. I don't be like this every day, man. But um, fashion mean you loving who you are. There we go. It, it makes you feel good when you're feeling bad. It makes you beautiful on the outside, but mostly on the inside. So what you see on the outside is not what you see on the inside. So sometimes God allow that fashion to show who you really are or speak. Hey, I got this flavor or I got this swag. So that's what fashion means to me. That's the coldest shit. What the <laughs> fuck? Julie, make you feel good on the outside when you feeling down on the Ah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> give me some. Yeah, give me some. Let's get that second <laughs> spin, man. Girl, what? <laughs> this is my prayer word, too, right here. In case y'all, it's just not me. Yeah, he put me on the spot <laughs> every meeting, every time. <laughs> Family. Family. Mm. Family is what I live for. Mm. Family is what I die for. Live I tell and people, die. when you come for my family, you see the ugly side of me. Yes, Lord. So when shout you, out to your family too, man. Because I just seen the pictures, y'all is in straight photo shoot <laughs> mode, man. Listen. Yeah, my um, my family was my push, and still is my push. Mm. My seven kids are my biggest supporter, mm -hmm. and I gotta give a special shout out. That's a prominent number so, too, Isaiah. And I'm not just shooting him out because he's my firstborn. Mm. My son has saw me at my highest, and he saw me at my lowest. Mm, shout out Isaiah. How old is Isaiah? Isaiah is 15 and a half. Shout out Isaiah, man. So, shout out to the oldest kid, yeah. man. I'm one of those too, yeah. boy. Yeah. So, um, he just seen me at my good and at my bad. Yeah. He seen me at my pretty and my ugliest. Mm. But the one thing he always tell me: remember who you are. Stop. You are a strong with woman. Him. That kid knocked down, but always find a way to get up and dust it off. Stop playing with that boy, Them man. It's like it's like some shit you would say, man. Yeah. You be you he raising. Like you, they, he just growing up. You raising this boy, man. I what? Five when, boys, two girls. When is Isaiah's birthday? I got to August eighteenth. Oh uh, yeah, big Leo. Yeah, he's a big, big Leo. Leo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I he, thought he was coming on the my, same. My my yeah my my son August seventeenth. That's my brother's birthday. What? I went in labor on my brother's birthday. Ah, at church. Sitting at church, though. Yeah. So I'm like, ooh, Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doing altar prayer? I went. Uh. So they was like, come to the altar. I said, I can't. <laughs> I said, I'm in labor. Wow. So yeah, I thought I was going to have him on my brother's birthday, but I did not. Yeah, so. man. Yeah, but, family. Yeah, yeah. family is the word, ladies and gentlemen. Family All right. first. Family first. Family first. That's it. And That's if it. you ain't got nothing else, have your family. I don't need nothing else in the world but my kids. Yeah. Because they're gonna ride a they're gonna ride or die with me. Yeah, facts. So yeah. I tell them all the time. I earn up, they earn up, I boss up. You can't fire your boss. 
cannot fight. Man, chill out with your words, uh, man. Let's get saying. this. Let's get your third spear. <laughs> Can't fire your boss. You cannot fire your boss. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for real. You know, God make room for the new things you need to do. Oh, jeez. Which one is that? Studio. I don't know much about studio. Mm -hmm. But you've been at the panel. You've been but, in the studio. Uh, you that's, we, that's Studio where we... is where everything is uncut. That type of shit. It's no judgment. Yes. Each person can be they self. And come as raw as you can come. So shout out to Sir Quinn once again. Yeah. You said shut up and Yeah. Shice, man. Right? I love this woman. That's the worst <laughs> segment, ladies and gentlemen, with <laughs> Jessica Holmes, man. Lord, 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 yeah. Lord, Lord, have mercy. So yeah. um, to your demand, explain chapter 10 and 11. To my demand. I could do one better than that. Yeah. Here we go, yeah. Um, chapter... Ooh, I knew you was going to say that. Uh, I'm on you. <laughs> okay, so... Not for resale. Whoa. Oh, okay. No, that's the Arthur copy. Oh, okay. That's your... Oh, oh that's the Arthur copy. Oh, yes. she brought the dang yes. thing. That's the Arthur copy. That's Come why I say for not for resale. Oh, no. Um, but it... Better yet to explain it. How about I give you... The first few lines of each chapter. That's beautiful. That's beautiful for iHeart, for all my iHeart fans, for uh, Apple Podcasts, for for Pandora. This is for y'all. Like we all need right. to hear this. Y'all make sure y'all get this copy. So chapter ten say is titled "After a Storm." After the storm, in the waking of the tempest forest, as the storm gradually surrendered to embrace of calm, Jessica found. Her Mm, mm, it's that powerful. Hold on, hold on one second. Yeah, bring that back. Bring that back. In the waking of the tempest forest, as the storm gradually surrendered to the embrace of calm, Jessica found herself amidst a scene of both devastation and grace. This chapter delves into the aftermath where the shepherd must assume the loss and count the blessing, capturing the deep of her emotion. I'm correction, depth of her emotion. In a heartfelt and personal narr narrative. That's chapter 10. Mm. That one kind of hit home. And the reason why it hit, it hit home was because that's when I had to refine myself yeah. in that phase of my life. That's what it sounds so like. So if too. I got emotional, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. It wasn't sad tears, but yeah. it just let me know, like, dang, I made it over. Yeah, I'm, home. yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah. Because uh, uh, every, everybody can't attest. No. You can't. Or I they say everybody is it everyone? Shoes. Yeah, yeah. They can't. They no, can't. No, no. So chapter eleven is called Legacy of Resilience. This chapter devolves into enduring the impact of Jessica's journey as a shepherd through the storm, offering a heartfelt and deep personal reflection on the legacy of resilience she leaves behind. Mm. Chapter eleven is basically. My legacy. Yeah, your legacy. Um, yeah, the, the seven, the strong the seven. seven. Wow. Um, it is not introduced in there of them, mm -hmm. but chapter 11 is talking about pretty much my family, my friends, and everything that's in tied into my circle. Mm. I, you heard me say within my circle. Yeah. So if you're not in my circle, you won't understand it. Mm. So that's what uh, chapter 10 Wait, is. I understand it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. That was my sarcasm kicking yeah, in real um, quick. Yeah. But when you read it, and I and I encourage everybody, yeah. please do a review. Um, you could do it on Amazon if you purchase it. Hold on, Amazon. wait, wait, don't don't tell them where to find it yet, oh, man. That's sorry. that's my question. But oh. like, yeah, 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 yeah. But Let's just keep on talking about like like chapter ten and eleven, like what it means to you. Cause... Um, chapter ten, I don't even know where to begin with chapter yeah. ten. Chapter ten was, if I might reflect back naturally in my life, it let me know that even though I was hurt, even though I had fear, even though I was scared, I still had something to do. I still had a way to help people. Um, and it taught me. Mm -hmm. that I had to find out who I really was within myself. Chapter 11 mm -hmm. was everything. Mm -hmm. It's no need to explain 11. Mm -hmm. 
11 ties into everything I ever been through in life. Everything that people tell me I wasn't going to amount to. Everything that I put my mind to that I was able to do. Right. And chapter 11 and 10 teaches me and have taught me that if I have no more supporters, if I had no more cheerleaders, I am my biggest cheerleader. Whoa. I am my number one cheerleader. Don't nobody hype for me the way Jessica gonna hype for herself. Whoa. And Whoa. that's why I nicknamed myself just the minister. But Whoa. all of that is true. My name is Jessica. You know I'm gonna, you know I'm gonna I got so many <laughs> jokes for that woman. You know I and do. And I am a minister. Yes, you are. So yeah. What? That's where they come from. Man, listen, when it when I tell you if you go, I want you to pray for people at your event. Because when she prayed for you, like, I'm talking about, it's, it's the specifics for me. Like, it's not like, like I grew up in traditional church. I done been to, to, to the advanced churches, if you will. But the specifics that you pray for is different. Additionally, so you, you went through this trauma in your past. And you moving fast, like, you know, moving fast, like, with, like, with, you know, like, how do you find that, that, that thin line between your past and like your future? You feel what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. like it's it's a whole it's a it whole Yeah. And then I it's like that it. it's that fine line, you feel what I'm saying? So like, you know, like sometimes like like I, I could attest that you had that, that trigger that that trigger moment. You feel what I'm saying? Like so like how do you like mm, I got it. I get it. Mm-hmm. So what gave me is I allow myself to feel everything. Mm. Don't facts. I had to learn that. Don't facts. Oh, I had to Lord. learn to allow myself Whew. to embrace every feeling. I had to allow. I don't care whether it was happy feelings, mm. sad feelings, up feelings, down feelings. Mm. It don't matter what it was. Mm. I had to embrace every feeling so that I can get over that hump. Mm-hmm. So to the day, I'm still healing. Yeah. Today I'm gonna still embracing Ooh, all the feelings. You could have fooled me, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, so today I am still. Whoa. But I sit before you with no shame. I need to hear that one. I sit before you to tell Man. you that you can do anything that you put your mind and heart. I think we all need to hear that. So that's, I allow myself. I allow myself is crazy. Yeah. Not crazy, but I allow no, myself. Crazy, yeah, I told myself that. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Oh God, I got, I gotta say it for the people that's like that. He said he calling her crazy. No, I'm not calling her crazy, no. but I allow myself. You did. You did. I had I, to allow myself. I allow myself. And one thing I had to learn: forgiveness. Mm. The forgiveness is not okay. Say, for instance, you hurt me. Yeah. And if I never forgive you, I cannot move to the next phase of my life. I cannot move to the next chapter of my life. That's it. Because I was still hurt and angry at you. Mm. But I have to say I forgive you because whatever God got for me, I let no man or no one yeah. block what he got for me. Yeah. You can spend all day, um, like Yeah, yeah. You can Don't spend all day because like you can't spend all day like like man, you did this, did yep. this, this, and you'll be missing out on so much, so much. that's going on. Like, yeah. And when, and ah, I, that's I tough. Tell you this, with that mm. being said, when I for, fully forgave my ex husband, mm. that's when mm. doors start opening. Mm. And when I say mm. that my chapters have been going consistently nonstop, and I ask God, wait, is that a play on your book when you say my chapters, or is that just like a play on your life? Continue, continue, man. Don't <laughs> disregard I'm my. Him in suspense on that one <laughs> because I think he know. I know. I know. I, he th- know. I know. <laughs> um, but. <laughs> To be honest with you, yeah. because this ties into the same thing, mm-hmm. I had to ask God, why did I have to go through that? And mm. you know what he told me? Mm. He said, because everybody wasn't meant for the new chapters in your life. Chill out. They wasn't meant to Stop. go. And I found out I had so many haters that what I, I really thought was my friends. Mm. And they know who they are. Mm. I don't have to call no name. Hey, but do me a favor. Bro, do me a favor. Do me a favor, Jessica. What's up? Shut up and hustle, man. Stop talking to them <laughs> like this, man. Stop talking to them like this, man. Facts. Stop, 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 stop talking to them. No, no, continue, continue, because, um, like, this is your journey. I like, had... yeah, I ain't going to overshadow your shit. No, but, I love yeah, it. I love yeah. it. I love it. Um, I had to really realize that everybody didn't mean for my good, wasn't supporting me the way they should have supported me. And they couldn't go on a journey 
because there was gonna be a stumbling block. That part. Um, when I went through this they divorce, had to weed they self out. Yeah, when I went through this divorce, God let me know that it was gonna be a lot of changes. It was gonna be good changes. It was gonna be sad changes. It was gonna be hurt changes, and it was gonna be happy changes. And let me tell you, mm. I've been through all the phases. But look at me today. Look at, it. look at me today. You wouldn't think that I had to face all that. So for two and a half years, I've been rocking this single road of life. Yeah. Being single and proud of it. Because don't nobody want to be alone, but like at the at the same time, don't nobody want to be continuously no. hurt. First of all, I got too much love to give and I've been giving it to the wrong Man. people. Wow. To the wrong guys. And see now, if you ain't at my level, yeah, you can't mess. Oh with my me. nigga, cause she giving me hella love, and I'm just saying, man, y'all missing out on that love. <laughs> so wrong with so you, wrong. so because wrong. If I rock with you, I will rock with you. Man, listen. If I don't, I take yeah. you to your face. This not going. No, nah, this ain't it. Because I know where I'm at. Yeah. And if I can't help you grow, then you can't help me grow. That's crazy. You gotta go through uh, y'all. Y'all yeah. was the 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 test. That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. So tell them where to find this book at, man, because we can sit here and chop it up all day, man. Like, uh, I don't know how y'all, if y'all know, like, but they, they group chat. It's, it's crazy. crazy. I say they group chat because, like, I, 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 I chime in when I can, man. They group chat all day just uh -huh. talking like, man, you miss. But tell them where to find this book at because this book is the, the, the cheat code it's for it's um, you telling the, you, it's a tell all to, like, how to get through trauma, how to get through. Um, I'm, I'm gonna let you explain it because, like, I'm doing it. I'm doing uh, a poor job. I feel no, like I'm doing, yeah. no, you you yeah. nailed it overall. Yeah. Mm. You really nailed it overall, and I'm not just saying that because we cool. But yeah. if I must add to that, it's not only trauma, mm. but it's it's physical, naturally, and spiritually. <laughs> so, um, if I can do it, anybody can do it. But to find this book, I would rather for you to pre-order. And you can pre-order um, from me, and I can give you the hashtag if you want me to. Yeah, please. Um, you can go to Facebook. The Facebook page is Jessica the Author. You can um, email me at Jessica the Author twenty four at gmail dot com. Can I get a phone number? Yes, you can. You please. can reach me at two six two three eight five seven two one two. Um. But it is on Amazon. Um, it is twenty five dollars on Amazon. But if you pre order, you are allowed to get a signed copy mm. and meet the author. Yes, and get it personalized. Yes. So that's why I prefer for you to pre order. Um, the Cash App name is Jessica J E S S I C A H O M E S twenty five. And that's. Um, yes. you'll see my you'll see my face on on cash app yeah y'all make sure y'all go grab that book a uh, shepherd in the storm again we kicking it with jessica holmes from the podcast panel additionally from jessica holmes the goddess herself you feel what i'm saying like it was a pleasure talking to you you already know it's always it's always golden um give your last minute shout outs i want to thank each and every one of you for tuning in i want to thank you for this opportunity Kanda. Tom, I'm waiting for y'all to give me that call. Yes, Lord. Because I want everybody to know about this book. Um, I want everybody to have something that can help them. Mm. Um, part two is coming. Mm. Stay tuned. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. That's, That's it, man. We kicking it with Jessica Holmes. You already know it's your boy, Sir Quinn. Y'all make sure y'all tap in to Roku, the A&R app. Go, uh, go look up the A&R on our website. This will be on Roku. Yeah. You up there, man. God, yeah, you feel me? So, like, y'all, make sure y'all tap into that, man. We on all platforms. Y'all go download these interviews. It helps a lot. It really helps a lot, man. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe, like, and comment. This shit, it definitely helps a lot. You feel what I'm saying? But additionally, man, we kicking it with Jessica Holmes. And it's your boy, Sir Quentin, on bestofthebesttv.com. You already know what time it is. Shh. Shut up and hustle. We out. All of my good day still in the struggle. Flexing on things with money, no muscle. I'm so good, we using no rubber. I tell them, like, sir, shut up and hustle. What else wrong and you niggas in trouble? The 40 states took ain't no time, no tussle. I'm flipping them gone, ain't no time to call. I tell them, like, sir, shut up and hustle.